Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Wednesday, October 5th, around 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. The models are in, and there is snow coming to the west. Take a look at that. Looks fantastic. But the big story, damages in Florida from Hurricane Ian could total $47 billion. Keep calm. It's boom time. $47 billion. Wind and storm surge damages in Florida from Hurricane Ian are estimated between $28 billion and $47 billion, according to a September 29th estimate from CoreLogic. That, well, that is quite a bit of money. Now, blast of winter-like cold on the way for the Midwest and the Northeast. The pattern is going to shift for the country in the coming days. You can see that low up in Canada is going to push south here in this graphic. Thursday, it's going to drop down past Minneapolis. By Friday, Chi-Town and Ohio, Indiana, all will be unseasonably cold. And by the weekend, the Northeast will be frigid. Look at this below zero temperatures. Uh, let's take a look at the thermodynamics and walk it through. And we could see that cold air pushing down in there. It'll be frost and freeze warnings in the Northeast coming this week and this weekend. So it will be chilly out there, and there may even be some snow up in the Northeast. Take a look at these totals up in Maine. So you're going to have two snow blasts, three snow blasts, one coming in the next few days. Looks like a little one in mid October, and then late in October. These models are far out. But the snow in the west is looking, well, quite probable at this time. Take a look. Most of the Sierras, most of the Pacific Northwest picking up on the action, as well as Idaho and western Montana, and just a little bit down here in Colorado until potentially, it seems, later in the month. Now, good news. On the southwest lake level front, Lake Mead continues to rise for months now on its Slow but sure journey filling back up. And another lake that hasn't seen any positive activity in a very long time, Lake Powell, also filling up a half a foot in the last two weeks. That's good news for the lakes out in the southwest. Now, a pesky east coast low, powerful storms arriving in Alaska. A pesky, almost stationary area of low pressure will continue to produce rain showers, gusty winds, and coastal flooding in the northeast and mid-Atlantic on Wednesday. Meanwhile, a powerful storm is expected to impact the northwest and west-central Alaska with a variety of hazards starting late Wednesday. So heads up, Alaskans. It's coming for you. Now, snowstorms could blast Ireland as a rare weather phenomenon develops called climate change, where it snows in Ireland. This is the third year in a row La Nina has developed, which is referred to by scientists as a triple dip. And we did do a little podcast on the triple dip, and it was quite well received. It is also an extremely unusual, uh, causing large-scale cooling of ocean temperatures. And this fact, I, uh, I came over to take a look at the GFS. It does not look like much snow is happening anywhere in the UK, maybe that little spot here. But take a look at Norway, big winter chicken dinner. The snow looks like it's going to be piling up there on the west coast of Norway, uh, just on and on and on. And then a nice mountain event there for the Alps. So Europe picking up a little bit on that by mid to late October. So that's what the models are showing. Seismic update. No quakes to note. We have a significant 5.6 in Iran. I'm sure that crumbled some buildings. But overall looking good. What's going on up here in Canada? 4.5 near Dawson City. Worldwide Volcano News, nothing spectacular on the volcano front. That's great. Shivalush puffing to 12,000. Fuego passing to 15,000. We have Rapeju, Sakurajima. Reventador Piñon de la Fornas is, I believe, stopped erupting. So nothing spectacular happening there. Nothing happening with space weather either. Even though we had moderate geomagnetic storms predicted, almost nothing is happening with the geomagnetic field and the Aurora Watch. Very weak. We just also had a nice filament eruption. Um, yesterday, so let's take a look at that. Ripping off the sun there. But that is probably not headed our way either. So even though we've had X flares and numerous M flares, none of it seemed to be affecting us. Um, very negligible effects. That's good news. Take a look at Discover Solar Wind. Nothing is hitting us. Everything is calming down. 
as far as space weather is concerned. Now, we all know about the DART mission. We did, uh, did a full episode over on Magnetic Reversal News on it. Uh, an asteroid smacked by NASA's DART now has a huge comet-like tail, and you can see the picture here. The aftermath of DART's collision with Dimorphos is the 10,000-kilometer trail of dust captured here by the SOAR telescope. So that was an impressive impact, to say the least. Now let's talk a little bit about the dinosaur-killing asteroid that triggered a monstrous global tsunami with, wait for it, mile-high waves. Yes, this would be the giant asteroid that created the Chicks Club crater off the coast of Yucatan Peninsula and, one, and the dinosaur-ending event. Yes, a mass extinction impactor happening right in this region. Well, a team of scientists have now modeled what would happen with this. And there is a video you can watch here, so all links will be provided. But what they have concluded here is that there will be mile-high waves. You know, we kind of like our puns around here, but a bit of a splashy topic. Ha <laughs> ha! So if you're interested in splashy topics and mile-high waves, check out what's going on here. And who did that? University of Michigan led the study. And it was released in the journal AGU Advances. So dinosaur-killing asteroid trigger monstrous global tsunamis with mile-high waves. Some of it splashed up into space, for goodness sakes. Now, here's the paper. In case you're interested, the Chicksa Club impact produced a powerful global tsunami that came out on the 4th of October yesterday. So we're up to speed. Now, another paper coming out is kind of interesting, going against the plasma, the lambda cold dark matter nonsense, and the standard model of cosmology. This is a challenge to the standard cosmological model because when you observe things in the universe, they are not as the standard model suggests they should be. So something is very amiss with current state of cosmology. And something else is amiss with the current state of the planet. Japan issues rare alert as North Korea fires a missile without warning over the main island. What in the world is happening? Well, it in fact may be the beginning of World War III. Who knew? Now you do. Did you know that the speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second? Which just so happens to be the exact coordinates of the Great Pyramid of Giza. 29.9792458 degrees north. And that is no coincidence. But it's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. And be safe. We love you.